Hello and welcome back for part 7 of Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time we had just arrived at the town of Rimaldar and found out just how much we needed to save up in order to upgrade our weapons and armor. Uh, off screen I've gone ahead and gotten enough gold for one night's stay at the inn, which is 55 gold, and to get that broadsword. Today, we're going to have a very special episode where I am going to take you into the best area of the game to grind for gold, and we're just going to do our very bestest to try to get it done right. And so, here we go. Um, I'm probably only going to do this for about 15 minutes. At which point, I'll just, uh, I'll call it quits and do the rest of the grinding off screen. You really don't want to have to see all of that. Um, now, I would like to update you all. As of arriving at 1500 gold, I've officially, so far in this game, done 4 hours and 16 minutes of grinding for gold. about uh, halfway through the game, maybe? Not quite. Now, you'll notice I am walking around directly south of Romaldar to the west of this mountain range here. I am doing that for a very specific reason. If you go as far as I am right now, you will be fighting metal scorpions and wolves and warlocks. But over to the west, there's a whole different class of monster. And I know some of you may have been wondering what I was on about with the warlocks. Oh, I'll get back to that in a moment. Here we have the Wraith. Uh, it's a new monster for us today. And where are we? The Wraith has 36 hit points, 44 attack, 34 defense. 112 on speed, can give up to 60 gold, and they give 17 experience. They can also heal themselves. One of the most effective ways of dealing with them is putting them to sleep. Thank you, game, for making me a liar. There. It actually does have a high hit rate, but it can occasionally miss. Uh, because I already have the full plate... They don't hit that hard, but it can be a bit much. Uh, now before that, and here we have the Wolf Lord. The Wolf Lord can block our spell, uh, which is very handy for him, uh, because I was going to recommend putting him to sleep. Aside from that, the Wolf Lord has 38 hit points, 50 attack, so he actually hits pretty hard. Uh, 36 defense, 71 speed, gives about up to 80 gold, and uh, gives 20 experience points. His only spell, other than a regular attack, is that stop spell, so once it works, he's just going to attack like normal. Uh, but you can see he hit us by 7, he's actually pretty strong. And we are resorting to healing ourselves already. Uh, 58 is close enough to our 62 maximum health. There is another new monster over here. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take us to find him. But he's the monster we're looking for. I mean, or she. She could be the monster we're looking for. say, though, uh, some of you may be wondering why I made a big deal about the Warlocks, uh, considering I seem to take care of them no problem in the Rock Mountain Cave. Uh, but while I was grinding off screen, I actually was nearly killed by a Warlock who put me to sleep before I could uh, attack. 
All right, we have our last new monster of this immediate vicinity. This is the Gold Man, later referred to as the Gold Golem. He is the reason we're back here. Uh, he has 50 hit points, uh, an attack of 48, a defense of 40, speed of 223. He gives up to 200 gold, but only 6 experience points. He is a heavy hitter, and he is going to hit us hard. Uh, killing these things, though, is the absolute best way in the game to save up for anything. Uh, he gives more gold than any other monster in the game, and that's really all there is to it. Your best chance of running into him is in this area. Uh, there is another part of the game where you can run into them, but none of them have as high an encounter rate as this little area right here. Uh, so we are not going to go to that other area. Um, there are a few spaces right down in here uh, along this coastline uh, where because of the way the monsters are zoned, and again, I'm not 100% sure on the location, uh, I think it's here. Uh, because of the bit large square zones, that is technically in uh, the monster zone for the next continent over. So if you were to walk along that uh, coastline, you would actually run into much stronger monsters that we have no hope of defeating. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will very quickly see if I can show you... Uh, there is one more monster that I don't want to fight if I can avoid it. Uh, just because he's much, much stronger. Uh, and I just don't want to. <laughs> uh, they're not really worth it monetarily until you reach a certain level. Um, but again, over this bridge, uh, we gained a new monster. Uh, now, we were told about this shrine in the south, so I think we might as well make a go of it. And here he is, the Wyvern. Uh, Wyverns traditionally would have two legs, but in Dragon Quest they don't. Again, the animation style is so clearly designed by Toriyama. It's uh, a real treat that even though it comes out in blocky 8-bit graphics, we get to have monsters uh, who clearly were designed uh, by Akira Toriyama, and then we get to enjoy that. It's actually said that he really enjoyed uh, designing the characters and monsters for video games because they actually put less of a timeline than the mangas and uh, TV series he was doing. Uh, so he had more time to work on them and he could make them as detailed as he wanted. So that is always nice. Alright, we've got our health up a little bit. We're going to go check out this shrine anyways. Um, I think it has a proper name. Uh, shrine of the Sun or the Rainbow Shrine or some other asinine garbage. Better hope that hit. Uh, you see why I don't want to fight the wyverns. They are just a pain in the ass. takes a lot to heal us now. Uh, but as for this shrine, from this point on, uh, I will be referring it as referring to it as the MacGuffin Shrine, uh, because this is where you take the three MacGuffins to get the fourth MacGuffin. In thy task thou hast failed. Alas, I fear thou art not the one Erdrick predicted would save us. Go now. And then he kicks us out. That's all there is to that shrine. It sucks. Now, uh, because we're actually getting really low on magic, uh, we 
are just gonna try to make a sprint for Romaldar, uh, just to get back and get rested up, get our health back. I was really hoping not to run into any of those. Ugh, I was afraid he'd wake up. That's the problem with putting them to sleep, is they get to wake up. Try putting them to sleep again. And then run. That was the better decision from the onset. Uh, so now we can't really afford to heal or else a wyvern could kill us. Uh, but we don't want to turn our backs on a gold man now, do we? This might be worth it. Now we absolutely cannot run into any more wyverns, or we will die. So we're going to get on the other side of this, these hills, and of course I can't stop spell him. We have to hope I can kill him before he puts me to sleep. Uh, thankfully that broadsword is a lot more powerful. Uh, I forgot to check the stats on that. I will get back to you on that in our next video. I will look up uh, exactly how much of an increase it was over the hand axe. Uh, I apologize for not doing that earlier, viewers. You can see we're now at the point we, where we are one-shotting skeletons. didn't initially plan on uh, uh, going to that southern island just yet. I was afraid we would get killed. <laughs> and we almost were. One of the most convenient parts about this little area here where we can run around and fight gold men is that it's near a town. Uh, when you go into that southern island, you're stuck in a range of hills, and that's where you run into real trouble, uh, caught far away. Well, this is fun. Getting my ass handed to me by a wolf lord. Um, I don't think I mentioned this uh, about the uh, wyverns. Uh, they actually had an attack of uh, 56, defense 48, speed of 79, and uh, as you saw, they can give up to 100 gold and have, give 24 experience. Uh, they have 42 hit points on average. Uh, now, we've just broken the 1,500 gold mark. I'm going to uh, cut off screen, I think, for the rest of the episode. I've given you a general idea of what to expect in the Romaldar region, uh, where to grind for the gold, shown you the effectiveness of it. Uh, and so I think we're just going to cut back uh, once I've accumulated the gold needed uh, for the next suit of armor. Welcome back, viewers, and after about 42 minutes of grinding, you can see that I have gained two levels and finally acquired the 7,700 gold needed in order to get the magic armor. I did learn two new spells outside, which uh, pretty much warps you to the entrance of any cave. Uh, if you use it in the uh, passage to Remalder, the Swamp Cave, it will take you out whichever door you entered through. Uh, we also got the Return spell, and that basically works like a set of wings. It'll take you right back to Tantagel Castle. Uh, 
so that did not take anywhere near as long as uh, some of the other areas. And I think one of the reasons for that is this is the first time since the start of the game where I've actually felt like I've been fighting within my own weight class with monsters. Um, and I had to go to the area with the stronger monsters back here in order to do that. Uh, so it's the first time that the scaling of the game has actually seemed appropriate for the strength level. Uh, before we finish up here, I am going to go and I'm going to get that armor and we're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, before we uh, call it a day and just gear up for next time. And next episode is going to be a fun one. We're going on a treasure hunt. Uh, we're going to be going to Tantagel, Brecadary, um, Garenham, uh, and Cole to use as many magic keys as we can. Uh, probably Garenham last, uh, since that's going to be a whole other episode. If you remember, half the town uh, was in a locked area. Uh, now that we have magic keys, we want to start taking advantage of so many of these things. So, as always, let's get a little rest before anything else. Not that we need it, especially if we're going back to Tantagel later. But, you know, in that entire uh, time that I was grinding there, I only ran into five or six gold men. Other than that, it was pretty much all wolf lords, iron scorpions, and uh, wraiths. Uh, I did end up fighting one wyvern, and I ran away. So... That's pretty much how that went. I ended up putting him to sleep to run away because he was killing me. Alright, now we're going to check out our status here. Uh, defense power is 59 before buying the new armor. Now we spend 7,700 gold on the magic armor. And we get 1,500 back. Now let's see what that did for us. Nothing. It did nothing. It did say 59 before, and I'm not making that up. We just spent almost three quarters, well, I spent three quarters of an hour grinding to get new armor that did not increase my defense. Well, join me next time, viewers, when I'll be going on a treasure hunt. Until then, stay frosty.